All right, so we're here in the uh, Sam's Knob Trailhead. So the road up here just dead ends here. So they've got bathrooms over there. Because um, I really, I'm still kind of trying to decide on the route today. And since I'm just doing one night, I'm trying to make the best of it and just see what we see. So. Yeah, flat wall. Anyway, so one thing about doing is um, doing Hypester Gap up to Shining Rock. Because I've not actually been to Shining Rock Summit, so that'd be nice to see that. And then use the art lobe to come back across Tennant and Black Balsam. So we'll just see where we end up. Okay, so bear canisters required. So I did have to pack a bear canister. I went ahead and did it anyway because I was just kind of concerned about it because I know this is a popular area for the bears. But when I posted in a group post, somebody was saying that Graveyard Fields was closed and I hadn't heard that, but they actually do have a sign saying it's closed and it's due to bear activity. Which I mean, if you look like Graveyard is here and like we're gonna be like up here so I don't know but anyway so yeah we are where it says we are and we're gonna take Ivester up to Shining Rock and then come back down and go around by Tenant because I've never gotten to see the view from Tenant come down Black Balsam probably go straight across on the road or actually, we may. Yeah, anyway, we'll we'll figure that out. We'll see how we're feeling if we feel like walking this way and camping here. If we have, if I feel like I have enough water where I don't have to refill, or I mean, it just depends on the mileage too. Because if we're only like at eight eight miles or so, I think it's more like nine. Then we may just go ahead and press on and camp down here by the creek or road walk down and hit. Where I just showed you on flat oral and camp somewhere along this creek. I think this is the most one of the most indecisive trips I've I've had lately. Just I don't know. I can't can't, can't pinpoint it. Just don't know how I'm gonna feel. Um, check out the bunny rabbit. Uh -uh. But anyway, so yeah, just super undecided. Cause I just I had the idea to come up here last night and um, do a two night trip. But by the time I got off work and everything, I just I wasn't really feeling like making a two hour drive, being tired. So anyway, we'll just see what we see today, where we end up, and to be honest. I don't feel like, you know, if I'm not feeling the best, I may just <laughs> carry, carry my full pack for a day hike and just drive back home. But I really do want to stay out here at least the night. But so you can see the parking area is just right over there. So you can take this trail to Black Balsam. Um, which when me and my mom first came up here, that's what we did. And that's pretty tough, but it's not bad. But in the meantime, we'll be staying on Ivester. I think this is Ivester Gap or something. Anyway. So there's some blueberries. They're not ripe yet.
So anyway, this may be another like failed backpack just where I don't know if I'll actually stay out here or not. I don't know. It just depends on, I say it just depends on how I feel. We'll enjoy the views along the way. Because I've never been to Shining Rock and I haven't gotten to see the view from Tennant, so. Hot matters, we're on the trail and we're having fun. So this is the water source. This is the closest water source I'm aware of to Black Balsam. So, I mean, you're still almost within sight. I mean, it's just right around the corner. But it's a nice flowing water source. I don't know. We've had a good bit of rain lately with like storms and stuff. So I don't know if this typically dries up in the summer. But anyway, I mean like you know, if you're camping up on Black Balsam, you know, especially if you're coming up from the art lobe and you're like it's I'm pretty sure this is in the middle of that big dry stretch on the art lobe where you don't really have that many water sources. It would be good to come down that trail I just showed a minute ago and come down to get water. Cause it's not that far, maybe like a half mile or so, I think. So. Anyway, that's, that's flowing really good. Here's another water source. 0.4 from the trailhead. So you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but like right in there is the parking area. Well, let's see. I'm not pointing. Yeah, right there in that little gap. That looks like so much further than just under a half a mile. Here's another like flowing water source. That's just before the shortcut to reconnect with the art lobe. So at 1.06, oh, 1.07, there's like another little, it's, not a, it's a camping area. You can see it's pretty open. I, mean, I really don't see a good place to like, hang a hammock here. But definitely plenty of room for tents. You can see there's fire overflowing fire pit. Looks like I could camp in here. It's kind of lumpy. You have a nice sunset view. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty lumpy and it looks like it slants down. So, a nice little area. So just past that campsite at one point one five is this little side trail that goes. It's going that way. That's how you reconnect with the art lobe, just under tenant. So. But we're going to keep on Avister Gap. So here's another 
kind of dripping water source at 1.3. back in the ground here. So here's a really good water source. It's piped and everything. So this is 1.78. And it's kind of close to the intersection where the art load kind of comes in and coincides with Avestra. I said I don't I'm not familiar enough with up here to know if this if that these pipelines run all year round or if they typically dry up in the summer. So but they're running now. So this is 1st of July, 2023, so really pretty though. So this is where the art load comes down, so we'll be going up that way. So looks like we'll be in some tight quarters. Oh, and that intersection is at 1.94. We'll be going up that later. So here's a campsite. Man, that's a nice one. It definitely would have good, not really sunset views, but definitely sunrise views because sunrise would be that direction, I believe. So this is 1.97. I mean, I don't know where you get wood to burn. Relatively level. Not real slanty, not real lumpy. Not bad at all. Especially on this back corner. I mean, it's kind of lumpy. No, it's not bad. Not bad. So, not a lot of privacy for a bathroom break, though. Pretty view. Anyway, the art lobe continues that way, which we'll come back down on the art lobe, but I'm gonna stick to Ivester for now. Well, at least if you camp there, you would only be maybe just under a quarter mile of that last water source, so. Into that. So this hill in front of us, that's Grassy Cove Top. I'm debating whether to summit it. I think I'll take the summit trail coming down from Shining Rock. Um, okay. All right, so here's another junction with the art lobe. So you come come down right there and go that way I believe and then this is the trail to summit that grassy ridge knob so 
or grassy, grassy cove top. Decisions, decisions. Should I go ahead and summit now before it gets ridiculously hot? That way it's one less summit to do. Coming back. I'm thinking so. See, I'm already diverting from my plan. But you know, it's nice that they've got like a map and everything. So and this is the wilderness boundary. This was where, like, you know, if you camped anywhere in the wilderness boundary, you had to have a bear canister. But now, obviously, they're having problems. So it's like, now it's everywhere up here. So, I, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and summit now. But I'm going to put my trekking pole up, I think. I don't know. I may need it. I don't know. I keep changing my mind. Maybe this is where the wide path ends. So we are going to go this way. Is this where it splits? Oh, I'm sorry, that was 2.45. Yeah. Now this is the trail to Grassy Ridge Knob Cove, whatever. So we'll take that up and over. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think I'm gonna put my trekking pole up though. Um, Well, that's a big step up. Weird. Ah. Oh, there's a flame mazelia. Absolutely incredible.
absolutely incredible. You can see some of the flame azaleas over there. I wonder if this is where the trail splits. I think I'll just go around. Because that path there, I mean, both paths look used, so I don't know. Maybe the other path was better. I don't know. Oh. That's a fault summit. I'm guessing that's where that other trail comes in that we saw down there. Yeah. So I think I'm kind of glad that we didn't we didn't go that way. That looks worse than what we came up. I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. So apparently the summit is like right here somewhere. Wait, is there a summit marker? see a summit marker but according to the map this is the summit I think I think about back there was the summit I still don't see anything else higher so as far as I know looking at the map and everything this is the summit because I mean it shows it being on this trail I don't show it being like off anything so so yeah, we'll just keep going and we'll drop down and reconnect with the art lobe. And that's where we'll get ahead along till we hit Shining Rock Trail. And it's not far to Shining Rock. So to this point from the parking lot is two point roughly two point eight. Apple. Ah, my glasses. Alright, so this is the junction with the art lobe. So the art lobe comes around. It just goes around this this knob. Where we just came down from. So we're going to keep going straight. 
So this junction is 2.95. Wow, so even all that load gets overgrown this time of year. Boy, it's buggy in here. Oh, it's a campsite. So there's something back there, but that campsite is 3.2. At least I'm assuming it has a campsite. There's people back there, so. Anyway. So you could probably hammock camp in here. I mean, you don't have an option for a fire, but this is 3.3. Oh, I wonder if that over there where them boulders are is Shining Rock. There's a morning glory. Okay. Oh, okay, so there's a few campsites around here. Come on, Sal. So, there's a few campsites just in these grassy areas. Looks like the idiots are uh, chopping on live trees. Oh, and that area was at 3.5. Oh, If it was calling for rain today, I would have been a little worried. And guess what? I'm a little worried. Because it didn't call for rain today. Like, it was like 5%. Like, it was supposed to be like a sunny. So, um, maybe it's just going to cloud up and kind of keep it cooler so it won't be like afternoon thunder showers. At least I brought my rain jacket just in case. Oh, this is where me and Caitlin got water last time on when we did the art lobe. So this is a really nice campsite. Did I miss the turn for I feel like I've been walking forever. No, okay, we're still good. So it don't even show that there's water here. But it's a flowing source and there's nice trees down there for hammocking and stuff. There's even like a little flat spot for a tent. Go get you some water. 3.78 from the start. Walk down here and show y'all. And y'all can see it in the art load video too, but 
I think the water was flowing a little more then than it is now. It seems like we went down here a little ways. I mean, it's super nice. I mean, it's just kind of a piddly fire ring, but. You got a pretty good space for a tent here. You need to be on a slant, like coming toward me. Um, I think it's definitely more, maybe more hammock friendly. But I really don't know. Because I feel like you could probably hang up there between those two, but that was kind of short. This tree's dead, so I wouldn't hang off that. So, I mean, there's just like little campsites every which way in here. Like right out, like right there, it looks like a little flat spot. But I mean, you could, now you could hang anywhere in here, I think. Now, I want to go down here and look at this one. Because I didn't see it the last time we were here. But, I mean, obviously, anywhere you hang in here, I mean, you're going to be on a hill. So, because this down here looks like a better firing. There's a good bit of wood and stuff on the ground to burn. Of course, that might make you question whether you want to hang off any of these trees or not. But, I mean, they look okay. I definitely like this firing better, though. Yeah, like I, I would hang between maybe these two. Maybe even those two. It's a pretty nice little, little campsite. I say it's on a hill, so I mean, I wouldn't. About the only place you can set a chair is here, and you'd risk going backwards. But and there's a few bugs in here, but it's not as it's not as buggy as some of the other like sections and stuff. There's like another little camp area. You could probably hang. I don't know if you could. You might could set up a tent right in there somewhere, but I mean it's gonna be lumpy. And you can see the bug. I can see the bugs, but it's three point nine nine. And you can just definitely set up a tent right there right here off the trail I mean it wouldn't be ideal but I mean it's soft it'd be a soft place to camp for the night it's just kind of funny how the trail is like really wide like and really nice like this section is versus you know some of the other section when we were on the art lobe and it you know still kind of overgrown like you're kind of pushing your way through stuff so it's just interesting how the trail just differs. Now here's another water source. So it's maybe like 4.1. Might be some camping down in there too. Yeah, it looks, oh yeah, it looks like there is a good camping spot. Let's go down there and check it out. Cause I'm scoping out for winter trips. Like where, it, like I would just hike in like for a night and hike back out like when it's cold or something like that. Yeah, now this looks nice. Looks like it could be probably tent friendly. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, this would be a great tent site. You'd be protected. I don't see a bunch of dead trees. Got that water source right there. I mean, I think it would be buggy because of that water. You can see them kind of flying around, but that right in there would be a good little spot. Except for maybe that root. But that's about the best spot you're going to have, I think. Other than just maybe right here. But you're going to... If you're in a two-person tent or you're camping two people, you're, somebody's going to be on a slant. But super nice, though. Really nice. I like the firing. I mean, it could be better, but... That don't look like a good spot. Looks like that would be really wet, really muddy. 
because as dark as that is and nothing else is that dark it makes me think that water's probably standing in that area it's nice that they've put in this so that way you can actually get a good drop to fill up your water source water bottles and stuff I think this was like 4.1. Yeah, just under that. Oh, I about did it. I just about put myself, put my hand right in that sap. That would have been terrible. There's another little side. Now this here's nice. Plenty of room for probably two or three tents. At least two. Like a two person one there. Another tent here. So it looks like there's just trails every which way, so. Hey, this one just wander around till you see one you like. Oh, oh yeah, this is nice, nice, nice flat spot here for a tent. Nice, good size, decent fire ring. Got several trees to hang from, most likely, especially like up in there. I'm glad I come up here. This would be nice just to bring a tent. I don't know though. I like my hammock. So here's another like little tent spot here. You know, a little more protected from that opening open area. And then you could probably hang hang down in there. Cool. So here's Troll Junction Shining Creek Trail. So that's another loop I was considering doing where like you would start at 276 and go up Old Button Knob Trail and then come down Shining Creek. Oh, there's another campsite. So that one is 4.2. That looks like a nice one. All right, so here's the junction with Old Butt. So you know that way to go to Old Butt, but we're going to go this way. And then the art lobe. Oh, that's that Ivester Gap Trail. That don't look too bad. I wonder if it stays like that. I may take that to tie back in to that where we split off initially on the other side of Grassy Cove. I may do that. So, Art Lube. So, we'll go. Oh no, we should have took old butt. So, yeah, we should have took old butt. And then Shining Rock splits from old butt. And this here's a nice little camp area. You can see it's well used. Definitely plenty of room for hammocks. Small firing. Kind of just needs to be dug out. Anyway, I mean, like, there's, like, back in there, looks like a tent site. Right here, you could probably make do. 
right there you can make do like right in there and i don't know if that's the trail because i know when we did the art low like we saw people camping here so i don't know exactly where the trail is yeah this is the trail this is art low here so but we are going to go back through here get back on the trail to go to the summit Sally Sally the squirrel ain't gonna play with you squirrel ain't gonna play I think people are just camping everywhere Wow, this is really pretty. Is this a campsite back in here? I mean, like, there seems to be campsites everywhere, which by now. Oh, yeah, this is another campsite. Oh, nice tent spot there. That looks nice and soft to lay on. Hammocking, I don't know. definitely tenting for sure and there's just tent spots all in here you can't really see anything okay anyway I mean this is right in this 4.1 area and it's just all around this shining rock gap that's where all these campsites are or that I've shown on the last few couple minutes of the video Let's see, where's the trail? Where's the trail? Oh wow. Now that's an interesting flower. I'm not seeing something. So this is the split with Old Butt and Shining Rock. So Old Butt goes that way. So I don't look like something I want to do this time of year. And Shining Rock goes this way. Wow. Oh wow, uh, did we climb up this? This is really cool. Find a way, even Sally wants to climb it. No baby, we're not going up it. A little miniature me, I'm telling you. the trail a minute ago oh I wonder if it went on the other side of that dead tree are we on it now Let's see. we're still not on it oh, I kind of want to go up there and check it out but I don't want to waste energy I don't know maybe we'll see how we're feeling on the way back down Maybe the trail goes by up there, and that's like the hard way up there. There's another little side trail. I don't know if he's just gonna go to that rock cliff, and I won't be able to get up, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, so this is four and a half. So the trail goes right. I can, I can see how people get lost up here. 
because like you know back there at that one junction there was no signs and you know old butt trail shining rock <laughs> you know so unless you had a map or was really familiar with the area you wouldn't know so i would definitely recommend a map because there's a lot of rescues that happen up here be prepared know that there's no blazes or anything like that there's barely hardly any like trail junction signs so just know what you're getting in for this beautiful area though maybe i don't know we'll see i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of getting burnt so okay so here's another one of those trail junctions i think the main trail goes right yeah but it looks like maybe there's a view so i think that trail that we saw earlier that came up came up this way i'll go up here and check it out i feel like i'll kick myself if i miss something Well, this rock is really slippery when it's wet. Okay. Oh, Why wow, it's slippery. Slippy, slippy. Okay. Oh, big rock place. Uh, let's see. I should have just left my pack down there. So I just kind of wedged my foot under and kind of pushed and pulled myself up. It's really slippery though. There's a view out here. There's definitely a lot of people coming up here. All the all the trees are smooth or people are holding on. Oh wow. Wow gorgeous absolutely gorgeous that's so cool oh, we'll go back this way this ain't quite like granite you don't have as much like this ain't bad, but like this stuff here, this white stuff is really slippery. But I think I'm just going to go up that way because I have a feeling that probably reconnects with the trail instead of trying to go back down that mess. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this white rock too. I think this is quartz. What a view. I don't see much. Yeah, so it just ties right back into the trail. Now I felt like it was worth a little side trail, but yeah. Depends on your comfort level. But the easiest way would be where I just came down. Alright, so this is where old button up 
Old butt knob goes that way. Came up from that way. Going this way to the summit. Maybe that's a shortcut or something. Oh, this is a nice campsite here. So this is 4.6. So yeah, so it's actually level campground on the map. I don't know why it's called a campground. There is ground and you can camp, but. So I came in from the left right here. And of course there's the campsite. And on the on Gaia, it shows like a little path going this way. So maybe there's an overlook this way. So we'll go check it out first. You just have like a tarp. You can probably just set it back here just to be shaded if you're out in the sun. But this may just go to another campsite too. I really don't know. Looks like that's what it is. There's not even a fire ring here. I wonder if there used to be one and they took it out so people wouldn't camp here. So yeah, this is where that this trail ends. It's just down here. It's just another little camping area. I mean, I don't know where you would really camp at. And you can hammock camp probably like in there in between those trees. I don't know. These trees ain't looking too hot. I think I would just stick being in, up in the open. Because there's, there's definitely not space for a tent down here at all. And you might could get one there, but you're going to be on a slope. Yeah, my map just froze again. I drew a straight line from about right there to the blue dot. I mean, it's not, it's not, I don't think it's going to affect the mileage that much. We're at 4.72 right now. So now we will go straight. Somewhere. I'm assuming it's this way. Yeah, I shows we're on the trail. Yeah, once these trees get bigger, this will be nice. But until then, it's just kind of smack you in the face kind of thing. I'm glad I got a long sleeve shirt on. Oh gosh, I'd be scratched to pieces. So, you come in on that side of the rock and you just walk around. Okay, so this is the end of it, it looks like. So, there was another little side trail back there that I passed. So, this is the very end of this, is probably maybe a tenth of a mile from the end of it. Not even a tenth of a mile. of shining rock. Sally has found her a shady spot in the bush. Um, 
can see there's not a lot of shade it's literally just between these two trees so i'm just gonna sit there but really pretty view but i think i think i'm gonna go home i think i'm gonna, I'm gonna do just do this as a day hike and just drive home I don't know, something, just something in my gut tells me I need to go home. Fun carrying the pack. It actually, funny enough, my backpacking pack is more comfortable than my day hiking pack. Get bigger. But I want a snack because I'm, I'm, I'm out of energy. But yeah, just going to sit here and enjoy this view. Maybe call my husband and let him know my updated plans. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's there's just not a lot of options as far as like room to kind of scatter. <laughs> anyway, I'm just sit here and enjoy the view. So you can see there's not much room here to sit, but it's a nice little spot just for a break. Yeah, we'll get on the trail here. Let these other people enjoy the summit. And hopefully we can make it to Tenet and actually get a view. Ow. Golly, something is stinging me. Um, bugs are up here are really bad. But we'll go ahead and head back down. Oh, well, that break. I needed that break. I tell you. Definitely worth coming up here, though. For sure. Absolutely gorgeous. Now let's get slapped in the face some more. It's a really cool rock, though. checking the radar it don't show rain but uh yeah that was that other trail okay so now we go right go down this Definitely a lot more people this afternoon. Oh, this is where I got screwed up a minute ago, wasn't I? So I was like, oh, where's the trail go? I think we came up that way, but we go down this way. This is probably not the best place to stand. Let's see. That's such a cool rock wall there. So yeah, I went that way when I was coming up and you just go like that way. The bugs are definitely getting bad this afternoon since it warmed up. So there's the old butt split I saw earlier. That is just really such a cool flower. I, kinda reminds me of that fringe facilia with the like fringed edges but it's purple and it's stalky. It'll be interesting to find out what that is. Alright. So to back to this little intersection. You know, it's five point two seven. So now we're gonna go this way. We're gonna try that other trail. I'm hoping that it'll be decent. Just to see something different instead of just going out and back so yeah we go left here and then it's like one and a half back to the intersection with the art lobe or two i guess so it's 0.4 to the next intersection after this okay i was still gap through let's see what it's about
Oh, it feels good in here. Wow. Oh, I hope it stays like this. It'd be great. So right in there, it looks like maybe the trail used to go that way. It, it just looks used. Maybe it's just a bathroom trail. So, I mean, this was just past the turn. I mean, I don't talk about there being, or I mean, it's not on map that this goes anywhere. Oh, I bet it's where people are coming through, where they've missed the turn for the art lobe. That's what this is. But I mean, gee, you could camp, you could hammock camp in here probably. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll just keep going. There's no fire ring or anything, so. This is really nice. This is really pretty. Man, this is so pretty. I hope the rest of the trail is like this. Come on, Zoe. Alright. Let's see what Avistro Gap Trail is like. A little East Fork Trail. That looks pretty heavily used. Left. I'm gonna go that way and follow it back down. Connect up at Ivester Gap and then take the Art Lobe across and around. That's a big tree. So I think I forgot to mention the mileage at that split, but I think it's probably about 5.7 or 5.8. I will say this is a great afternoon trail because it's kind of shaded from the afternoon sun and there's kind of a breeze. So it's just really pleasant through here. <laughs> Plus it's nice get, not getting smacked in the face by all the overgrowth and everything and on my arms and legs. But see other ways to go, so we'll just see what else we encounter. So it's kind of running there. I don't know how you would gather it. But this is so this water source looks like the trail is going to change a little bit so it's where it goes from this like nice dotted line to whatever this wide thing is supposed to represent i'm assuming an old forestry road so we got one mile on this and i have no cell phone signal here so oh it's buggy in here i guess because all the water is standing Flame as hell, yes. There's a little flowing source. No pretty flame as hell, yeah.
So it missed this whole section. Freaking stupid thing. Um, so I figure that's probably an eighth to a quarter of a mile, maybe. I really don't know. I'm getting really annoyed. Does anybody else have a problem with their iPhone 13 Pro overheating? Or is it just me? I'm beginning to wonder if it isn't the app, it's the phone. It's just annoying because it's new. It is what it is. So my mileage will be for any kind of size and stuff's going to be a little bit off. Um, so, I mean, I'll still, well, I'll just look at the phone and see what it says and then add like a tenth. So if it says 6.8, I'll say 6.9 or 6. Because I even got a notification a minute ago. I was trying to charge it and it got to like 80%. And then it's like, can no longer charge due to phone overheating. Really? Literally the only app running is the mapping one. That's it. And like, occasionally I pull up Gaia or All Trails to check the map, but anyway, it's just a little bit frustrating. I definitely would say, if you're just going to Shining Rock for a day hike, I would just out and back on this trail because this is a lot, a lot nicer. You know, because it's relatively easy. The only hard part would probably be um, just that climb up Shining Rock. Which is probably why, because I've seen more people on this trail than the other, so. Or at least about the same amount. No, because we saw the, yeah, anyway, I don't know. I'm fucking crazy. But, I mean, it seems heavily used. Like, you're not getting smacked in the face like we were on the other trails. It's been a nice, nice break. So, once we got in this open area, it really kind of got overgrown. Know that, you know, if you take this go into Shining Rock, it don't stay overgrown. When I was able, just a, few, just a second or two ago, I was able to check the radar and there's no rain. So, um, we'll go ahead and go up and over the summits. And from there, figure out if we wanna do a little bit bigger loop, take it back to the car, or just road walk back to the car. Or take the side trail off of Black Balsam to get back down. But we'll figure it out. We just gotta get tent first. <laughs> Alright. I think we're almost back to the intersection. Oh, look at the daisies. Super. Yep, so there's how we went, turned earlier, and went up and over that thing. So, come through this intersection and just go up this way to stay on the art lobe. And the art lobe goes that way to avoid going up and over Green Cove. So now we get to climb up to and hopefully get views. Third time's the charm. That's a little camping area there. So that is roughly, and I do mean roughly, Seven, twenty-seven, seven and a quarter. So you can see where people set up tents. Man, that's just gorgeous. Mm. This is probably about 7.4, 7 7.3. And that's a pretty small campsite, but they got a nice fire ring. Set up a tent over there. Maybe hang a hammock between this tree and, well, I don't know, that tree there's broke over. I don't know. Probably less than, I don't know, I think it's like half a tent. Just up the trail is this one and this has got nice places for a tent you could 
probably hang. Now, I don't know if you can hang off these or not. But you might get hang if you want going to deploy a tarp from here to that pine tree, maybe. That pine tree looks kind of dead. Yeah, and there's a branch that's kind of broke out dangling. So definitely tent. I'd probably, probably be back here. Because it don't look like there's any trees, you know, to drop. So, yeah. This looks nice and it's kind of level too. That down there kind of looks small and lumpy. I don't know what the two trails are, but this is the trail Gordon Dyer. So, it may just be a bathroom trail or something. Or a shortcut, probably. Oh, it really smells good. It is hot in the sun. I will say, I love this Mariposa. Um, it's just super comfortable. Okay, how do I want to go? Drop down, okay. Because even with like the bear can, I'm assuming probably this one I started out, I was around like 26 or 27. Because I had a book, I had. Um, what else did I have? I had the full three liters of water and all that. So, yeah, I just. Anyway, with. Oh, and the bear canister. So, even with the bear canister and everything, it's just riding really comfortable. As I say, you know, I used my Osprey day pack last week and at table rock and just it was just not comfortable and the hip belts on hip belt pockets on those on that is basically useless but it's just this pack just is really comfortable and the only problem i've been having the past couple of trips is for some reason this shoulder is starting to hurt i don't know why maybe if i just adjust it a little but Maybe it's how I have it loaded, I don't know. But anyway, I just it's a really comfortable pack. So if you've got a you know I think it fits from like a fifteen or sixteen inch torso up. Which I mean it's a little long on me because I think my torso is like fifteen and a half, which is why my um, superior wilderness designs probably does, doesn't quite fit. Because their smallest one is 16. So, and I thought I could make 16 work, and I can, but it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. But anyway, I love this. This is like Ron, the Ron, Ron, Ron Highlands, like around like Round Ball, Jane Bald, all that. Kind of reminds me of that. Very similar. But I think the Rhone is a little more open than this is. This has got a lot more like overgrowth and stuff. I mean, this is just so pretty. Man, that cloud better not sit on top of pennant, tenant. This is probably roughly about seven and a half, I'm assuming. Because it's right here near this gap. Or this intersection with um, Ivester. Wow. Wow. Isn't this gorgeous? Just absolutely gorgeous. See, there's a campsite here. But, wow, this is nice. This is seven, probably, yeah, seven and a half. So, yeah, that's Alistair over there. That's how we came in. So, now we're going to stay on the envelope to climb. 
climbing. But this should be one of the last like major uphills, I think. I think. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. How much how much more hiking I have in me today. Just enjoy what we see. So I think we Oh, okay, we're on Avister right now. Okay. Now we are left. So yeah, that's how we came down this morning. So now we'll go this way. Let's start climbing. At least the sun went behind the cloud. Such a gorgeous view. Well, you do have, um, I do have LTE in this section, below tenant. So I keep checking the weather. So far, so good, but there are storms coming in and there's more, I think, developing with just the afternoon heat. So. Anyway, I just keep trucking. Some of those, more of the azaleas. think that right there's tenant and then black balsam is that over there this is probably around eight miles or so and I, think I just want to sit here for a minute and just enjoy enjoy this Just absolutely phenomenal view. Just, I can't get enough of this view. But now we're gonna be on top of Tenant with a view as driving. Plus, knowing that there's probably gonna be pop up thunderstorms later today is <laughs> really motivating. So, keep going up. But that is a really nice view. Come on, Sally. Because the last time when I was here for the art lobe, I didn't even get a view going down this way. So it's just nice. It's so nice to get this view. I mean, I just, I just and the clouds, I just, I just love it. I love it. I'm just so happy right now. You know, just, you know, it's a great day to be outside. Seems like everybody's in a good mood today. I'll just keep pushing toward tenant. It's just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Dang it. I don't want to sit on my butt again and just enjoy this. Yeah, I never realized you could see Table Rock here. Of course, I guess I'd explain because I, I never saw this view. <laughs> Clouds. This this side coming up tenant, especially now that we're kind of above the tree line, it's just from 
here, I think, all the way pretty much until you drop off Black Balsam. You've got views. I think. Oh, wait. I'm going down the trail, not up the trail. Okay. But even as much as I'm enjoying it, like, I don't... You know, I'm not changing my mind about going home. So, Well, and it's kind of crazy, too. My dad texted, and he was like, stay alert. It's like, what does that mean? I mean, I understand. You know, stay alert, you know. But he never texts that. So the fact that he texted that, along with my already, you know, wavering of mind about even staying out here. And I pretty much decided by the time I saw his text anyway, but I was just like, what in the world? She's very coincidental. <laughs> but push through this nonsense. It's not, there's not any campsites coming up through here though. I don't remember there being any on top of Tana either though. So I guess that would be my one piece of advice for backpackers, especially women. Um, it's just listen to your gut. If you're feeling like, eh, you know, don't need to stay out here or whatever, just go ahead and, you know, make it a day hike. There's nothing wrong in being safe. Come here. Oh. Lord, more sense going to be there. That's interesting, too, because even coming up on this weekend, like, I was like, I really want to go. I want to go backpacking. I want to go backpacking. And get out in the woods. And I just couldn't. I could. I had a hard, the hardest time packing. Like, the hardest time. Couldn't. I changed out what was in my pack like four or five times. I put off packing until last night. And I, it's funny because I was going to drive up after work last night. And I just wasn't feeling it. And um, so I was like, well, I'll just drive up this morning. You know, I'm going to see the sunrise. And I just never settled I, I never never settled on a plan i never settled so i don't know it just gets like enjoy your time out and go home so it's like sometimes it just just listen to your gut you never know yeah I just it's just interesting it's it's interesting and odd all at the same time but man this view see everybody making their way up someone's over here smelling at the grass but i've thoroughly enjoyed today oh and while i was back there at that one cliff just like sitting um i had some honey stinger energy chews because kind of started feeling drained again so just went ahead and powered up and we should be good to the car so um. <sighs> I just love this view just outstanding Pretty much this whole way up. If you just turn around, you have a view. So that right there's Grassy Cove. That's where we summited earlier. Just, and there's Looking Glass. I can't see why I'm pointing on the screen, but it's it's in there. Love it. Love it. That's a campsite. There's a campsite about eight and a quarter. I 
Oh, here's another one of you. Find the summit. But there's a lot of little camps out there. Half over there, but I have heard that they're here. No, I hate snakes. Too. I agree with you. So. Just absolutely gorgeous. So this nearest mountain, that's Grassy Cove, where we summited earlier. As you can see, Tenet is very popular. But that over there, where that group of people is, is Tenet Summit. <laughs> it's literally on the sun at tent, tenant. I mean, it's on a slope, but it's not bad. I don't want your help. There's more flying azaleas. I'm gonna love this. Oh, this, well, this was worth the the revisit to see the view because it's awesome up here. I don't know. I may just sit right here and just enjoy the view a little bit. Oh, that's a nice place just to rest. Absolutely gorgeous day. Now we'll head over there. That's Black Blossom. We'll make our way down to the parking lot. Okay. Really, I'm, I'm satisfied with doing about 10 miles today. Pretty chill. Taking my time. Enjoying it. Taking like three or four breaks. <laughs> but man, it's just so pretty. There's just rock outcroppings everywhere. You just step out on and just enjoy the view. I think this this has been the best weather I've ever had up here in this on this section. I know when me and my husband backpacked it, it was in the fog. Couldn't see anything. And I think it rained on us <laughs> during the night. So that was a bust and then it's another time I come up here. Oh the R lobe. Oh, it's still here. I'm surprised. Huh. And then the other time I came on the art lobe, like the sun like broke and it was just amazing sun sunrise, you know, for like two minutes. <laughs> and then the clouds up climbing back over and we didn't see any views the rest of this like section from Black Balsam. Nice. And so uh, anyway. So I'm just I'm really enjoying the weather today. And just, you know, to see. And I don't remember this uphill. Highly recommend. It's not super technical, so I wouldn't, I would rate it as moderate. And this does overlap the art lobe because it goes over tenant and black balsam, so. <clears throat> Let's keep it going.
So everything is a lot taller than what I remember it being. So I missed like the unofficial trail. It goes up that way, so I want to stick with the art lobe, I guess. And send it that way. But I also didn't see the left to connect to Ivester either. I missed everything. Because you can, can I've done it before. Because me, me and my husband did it. It was back there somewhere. We'll have to. I figure we may just get our pad out and just lay on black balls a little bit. Just to get a little more enjoyment and just a little more rest before. At least this isn't overgrown. gorgeous. So that mountain right there, that's Sam's Knob. Won't be going there today, but hoping to make it there sometime. I don't know when, maybe in the fall. So it's just really buggy. It's not as buggy as other places in the summer but I don't know we'll just see when we wind up over there might make a summer loop I'm gonna do a flat laurel and do like an overnight or something on that side of things yeah down there's the oops sorry Sally and there's the parking lot So yeah, the art look goes that way. That's the shortcut that used to be more visible and worn. But we will continue on to the summit. We're not far. So that's at 9.2. Or 9.4, I don't know. The couple of things where it, my tracker froze. I'm really not sure about the mileage at this point. I think it shipped me off more than a quarter of a mile. See here, right here's like a little campsite here. It's, it's about 9.3-ish. didn't burn much of anything in that with all the rocks stacked in it. Oh, this just kind of goes around the summit. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go over the summit. What a view. those people are oh this is a nice little camp spot here a couple of fire rings so I don't know where we're getting firewood from though up here I'm not sure we're back packing it in 
major props to anybody that comes up here and hauls wood up here. I love a fire, but I wouldn't haul wood up here. Oh my gosh, I just can't find a like, place to just lay down and just rest. And just enjoy this view. What a view. Man, what a great little spot. Man. I was over here snoozing. You ready to go to the car? You ready to head home? I hate to leave this spot, but I know I need to go because I got a two-hour drive home, but it's so pretty. Well, Sally moved. <sighs> I think she's tired. Okay, we're going. So we'll walk, I think, out that way because I think that goes out by the rocks and the summit and all that. The bugs are fly whatever these are, things are it's flying around. I think they're flies or something. They are in mass here. It's gorgeous. See the park way right there. Six thousand two hundred and fourteen feet. It's just so pretty. I have to make sure not to miss my turn, otherwise I'll have to rope walk to the car. I will, I will say, oh, I'm sorry, Sal. Um, I'm glad I laid what I did because at the actual rock where like the plaque is for Black Blossom, so buggy and natty. Just not a good place to sit and rest. But, man, you can't beat these views. I mean, I'm sure in some areas you can, but I don't know. There's just something about feeling like you're on top of the world. And being above tree line. You can definitely tell this side gets a lot of use. How well done this path is. I'm getting eat up today with bugs. Entrance trail and off of vegetation. That may go over to like a campsite or something, but I'm not sure. So I'm not sure. I thought I remembered there being a campsite. I see like. When I came through here, like, first or second time, like, this was all kind of grassy. It wasn't, like, this, like, vegetate, vegetation type stuff. Right there was, like, a little campsite. A little fire ring. I said, I don't know why you would have a fire ring here, because... Unless you're packing in firewood. So that's roughly probably 9.7 or 9.8. There's some sort of like lily. Orange lily. I don't want to walk over there and destroy stuff, but that's really cool. All right, there's some more of them. Oh, it just ends here. You see, here's the 
I was hoping to see one that was like blooming, but I don't see one that's convenient. So cool. So pretty. Oh, I've seen it. Here's a nice little campsite. Around the 10 mile mark. Probably a really good sunset view. Awesome sun, awesome tent spot there. I hear the tongue. Stop talking a lot down there. Was that back there, not in the trail? I guess there's more than one way down down the side trail. Okay. It's been a great day on trail. I mean, it's not what I planned for the weekend, but sometimes the best things are not planned, even if it's, you know, different. You know, obviously I love backpacking. I love staying out in the woods, but just gut feeling. So, um, but really enjoyed the day. It was great, especially with the cloud cover and stuff. We didn't get roasted and um, just the temperature was nice the climbs wasn't too bad I mean I could have done without you know getting walloped by all the, over, the overgrowth but overall not not terrible at all just really enjoyed today even you know carrying my backpack with the bear canister <laughs> at least the bear canister came in handy during my last break I used it as like an ottoman and just propped my feet up but uh yeah, it's just a really pretty area. Um, highly recommend. I mean, just download a map or two for this area just so you have backup for if you get off the trail. Because there's a lot of trails that just go off. And, you know, like I say, hardly anything up here is labeled. So just know where you're going, have a plan. And, yeah. You know, of course, you know, just be prepared for anything because you never know. But, uh, yeah, just this outstanding day on trail. Got maybe about half miles for the car, I think. Way out. So, I mean, obviously, it's dog friendly. I mean, I would, it's not that technical or anything. Ow, God, just the bugs. Um, It almost looks like a campsite in there. That's probably about ten and a quarter. As well as like people are just shortcutting the turn. Cause it almost looks like straight through those trees over there is a like flat spot. But maybe that's the trail, I don't know. Cause it looks like it flattens out right down in there. It looks like there's a big campfire there. Well, <laughs> they really don't want somebody to cut this corner. <laughs> It's crazy though that people just cut just to save that little bit. This seems ridiculous. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, nice. Okay, back to our little bridge thing. Platform. All right, here it is. Back on Ivester. Got where we went that way this morning. And. We are back in the car, back in the parking lot. Great trip. I'll see y'all next time.